Hello from Chinechu.com. This is Mark Chelsea. <laughs> so yeah, um, just a different vibe today. <laughs> so uh, last previous uh, video, we talked about how to start your day one with the dead mob or the the tape, right? So you all know that we're going with tape. Okay, tape is easy, uh, dummy proof, whatever. Okay. So the first thing you want to learn is you got this thing here and you don't know how to blow it. If you have background in Western flute, it's way easier, like so much easier. But if you don't, it's fine. The first thing you do, okay, is not to blow on this thing. It's to put your finger on the lip, on the lower lip, or like this. And then you want to blow so that your uh, finger feel, feels the air is going this way. Okay. Some of you who cannot blow it because your your airflow is going too high or it's going too low. Like this. Blow. Okay. Make the airflow uh, narrow. Okay, narrow. Don't blow with too much pressure. Okay, you don't blow with a lot of pressure. You blow uh, softly, and also. And you go like this, do not tighten up the chest. If you tighten up the chest, you're going to faint soon, okay? So after you, you learn this little exercise and uh, you know how to go, and then you feel a bit of pressure on your on the top of the finger, now you take the deck G right here with the blowhole. Of course, the membrane hole have to be taped. Now you put your mouth right here, kiss the hole. Okay, a little bit lower, like touching the lower lip, and roll down. Okay, just roll down while it's touching the lip. And you want to just try to be able to make that sound and keep it stable. So yeah, you want to keep the sound stable. You want to keep the sound long and control the breathings. It's not easy. So on day one, you will be ending up like this. Like very unstable kind of sound. Or you'll be... You hear that sound? It's because the air is not hitting the hole. Okay, the air is not hitting the wall of this hole and going into the flute. That's why it's good you're like like that sound. If you feel like it's because the placement of the mouth and the and the deck is wrong. The air is going too directly into the hole and not hitting the wall to roll around the inside of the deck G. Like this. Unstable control. Or you'll be like wrong airflow. Okay. So you have to really fool around to try to get how to blow it. Nobody can really tell you exactly how you should blow your deck deep because everyone uh, have to really get that kind of like you have to get it to to make a sound. And it's not easy, but you know, for uh, anyone who is like uh, familiar with the Western flute, you get it very very fast. But for those who don't, and you used to play things like clarinet or violin, whatever, it's going to be hard. And because it's very different from blowing downward, and it takes a lot of time to focus that airflow to a very narrow air and directly going like like that. Yeah, it's very hard. The easiest note to blow should be without any fingering. And now, 
when you can do that, try three fingers first. Okay, so here's the exercise. If you can do three fingers, okay, I want you to try to go five seconds. Try to keep the, the note stable and also long. So you try to keep it five seconds minimum. When you can keep the note stable for five seconds, it means that uh, you already can start your uh, blowing. So it's congratulations. <laughs> So now you try to move the three fingers up and down, up and down, and you'll feel that when you have to cover the hole, um, it will require a different kind of blowing uh, style. Like you, you, you go softer. Okay. If you blow your deck G. And then you get this sound with, with the three fingers, if you go... You're blowing too hard, okay? That's how you get the higher octave. You have to blow very hard and the, the air go faster, narrower, and it will become that kind of sound. Okay, so every one of you who watch this video, uh, if you're like really learning the deck D yourself, and you got a deck D, remember, tape the hole and try it out. It, it it's really no secret. You just need to try, and when you can make a sound, you try to press three fingers, two fingers, one fingers, and then if you can do that, okay, you watch the next lesson, and then we'll talk about how to blow the lower octave, and then we'll do some songs. Okay, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye bye.